by Suckup. And it's now a 7 0 game. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Boys take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101. The Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. What a start defensively. Uh, you, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Cheetah Bay Awuzie there to make the play in coverage. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Brady again here on second and ten. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Jalen Smith. Coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Inside the 25. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. The throw there by Brady, intended for Gronkowski, but incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target, but it'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 23 yard line. Jones. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. They'll run it with Jones. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll go with Jones. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Buccaneers seven, Cowboys nothing. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. On play action, now Brady. And he's got Gronkowski. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. The kickoff for Tampa Bay. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken about seven yards deep. 
And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And yeah, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And the Buccaneers go ahead and take another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. This is Elliott. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. A gain of three on the play. First down, Cowboys. Now Elliott. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. There he goes, left side. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for the Buccaneer TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point put through by Suckham, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Takeover first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. And Prescott, his third interception. Carlton Davis picks it. Sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head.